right guys well the first item here is a taylor swift t-shirt this is a really small like a girl size i think i got that for a dollar and i sold that for 10 and then here is a ceramic puppy it was probably about nine inches long and it was just from my personal collection i used to have it in my guest bathroom but i decided to redecorate and i sold that for 19 dollars and unfortunately that also sold on etsy and i had to cancel it guys i was so upset but anyway it was kind of back to back it's never happened to me before but it happened this time and i would have gotten a little bit more for it on etsy but regardless i sold it for 19 dollars and then here was a good buy i got this for 15 dollars and i sold it for 39 on ebay and i got it for 15 on posh and i think i've mentioned to you before posh is a great place to source as well uh, that's a sterling silver ring, by the way. Okay, and then some of the costumes that I've been selling. I sold this Jimmy Cricket costume for $29, and I picked that up for 5 Then here is a Jack Daniels t-shirt. I think this one also sold for 10 Yes, I had it for 12 but I took a best offer on it. And even if I can just make 8 to $10 on these t-shirts, I don't pay more than a dollar for them, usually. I think I'm getting them for $1.75 at the Goodwill because uh, they're normally $2.49, but with my discount, I get them for $1.75. But some of these I've picked up at garage sales as well for $0.50 cents to $1. So it's always a good deal there. And then this is something I picked up for $10. It's a Kanex Motorized Madness Ball Machine, and I believe I got $59 for that. So I made about a $50 profit on that. I got that at the Goodwill. I showed it to you in my uh, junk in my trunk haul. So I also had that listed on Amazon. That was a pretty expensive toy. I think it's like $300, but I wasn't sure if it was complete. I just pictured it as much as I could. Some of these bags were open, so I was happy to get, you know, that $50 profit on that. This is a shirt that I sold for $15, I believe, and I picked that up for a dollar. It's a Ralph Lauren flannel lady shirt. I picked that up for a dollar or 50 cents at a garage sale. I was glad to see that go as well. That had been on and off my store for a while. So yeah, that finally sold. Red Flannel, Ralph Lauren. All right, and then here is some Tory Burch bangles. I bought both of these bangles on Posh. I love them, but they were so big on me, and because they were heavy, they would fall constantly. I pretty much just made my money back on these. I believe I paid $40 a piece, and I got $85, and of course, that was free shipping, so I pretty much broke even, just got my money back on these beautiful bangles, Tory Burch. Then I sold this um, anniversary button-up shirt, Harley Davidson short sleeve. Uh, my husband said that someone had given it to him. I don't know. But either way, I found it in his closet and I said, we're selling that. I've never seen you wear it. I got $55 for it. So that was a good deal. And I think I had it up starting in about $75, but I took a best offer on that. I'm pretty open to those uh, best offers as long as they're not, you know, too low. I do okay. Then I sold my iPhone. It cracked on me. I got $300 for it, or I had it for $300. I think I took a best offer of $249 on it, and uh, I was just glad to offset some of the cost of, you know, getting me a new one, and I just don't like replacing the glass. I don't know if you've ever had that experience, but we had that experience with my daughters, and when we've done the replacement, it just didn't work as well as um, as the original, so I went ahead and sold that. Again, I had it for three hundred. I took a best offer of two forty nine. I sold this um, office mug. I believe I got twenty four ninety nine for that, and uh, this is the one that says "I love Jim" on it. And of course, that includes shipping. So I want, wind up getting about fifteen dollar profit, fifteen to twenty dollar profit on these mugs. Now I am using those padded envelopes now and I'm sticking them with peanuts and they just they're working perfectly fine for me a lot cheaper than selling them than shipping them in a plain box okay then I got $11 11 or $12 for this um, museum metropolitan Muse art museum uh, tie this one had unicorns on it super cute it doesn't cost anything to ship and then unfortunately these were returned but I wanted to tell you about them they were the Escada pumps that I got at the storage unit sale the lady told me they didn't appear to be genuine and so you know all my thinking was if you don't know what a genuine designer piece looks like please don't buy it because it's just so much trouble to have to return these and you really lose out these were gorgeous shoes the only good thing about that is that they are my size and i'm going to keep them after all then nick and nora pajamas sold i believe these sold for 14 dollars and these were children's pajamas the top and the bottom and that was free shipping on those. But these I only paid about $2 for. So 
That was a pretty good deal, little satin pajamas with uh, just all colors and patterns of piggy banks on there. Really cute. I think they were a youth size 12. Pick those up at the Goodwill. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for coming in. Bye. <laughs>